My name is Patrycja Grzewyk and I am professor at the University of Warsaw, where at the Faculty of Political Science and International Studies, I teach public international law, international humanitarian law and international criminal law, both in Polish and in English. You can rightly suspect that I also conduct research in the mentioned areas. My first book published in English by Rutledge is on criminal responsibility for the crime of aggression. Uh, my last book, published this time by Cambridge University Press, is on human and non-human targets in armed conflicts. So you can notice that I am hesitating whether I'm more interested in the use of force or in international humanitarian law, although history and development of contemporary uh, international criminal law is also, also drag my attention. And to complicate my research profile a little bit more, I can add that my most recent project is on the advisory function of the International Court of Justice. I'm also director of the Network of Humanitarian Action at the University of Warsaw, and within the network, this network, I am editing the Journal of Humanitarian Action published by Spinger. I like to cooperate with the specialists from different disciplines, that's why I joined the projects conducted by international relations specialists and security specialists on Western and Russian wars after the Cold War. My journey with the ASIL started in 2015, when I applied for the annual conference of the European Society of International Law in Riga, and I was happy to be selected at the time. My example is proof that fresh members have equal chances with the old members to be selected to present at the biggest uh, ASIL events. Since the conference in Riga, I have tried to attend annual conferences, as this was for me a perfect opportunity to meet the giants of international law and engage in fruitful discussions, both with academics as well as with practitioners. I particularly appreciated the possibility to join events organized by the interest groups, which I found particularly interesting. Well, from my own experience, I can encourage all those who hesitate whether it is worth joining ASIL and whether ASIL is inclusive enough, please join, please be loud about all problems which bother you in international academia. International Law Academia, from the definition, should be inclusive. So if you want to be heard, use all opportunities created by the society to participate in the broader discussion and allow society members to listen to you. I started from the position of frustrated member engaged in heated exchange of views on the reasons behind miserable presence of Eastern scholars in the society. And now I am the member of the board and try to prove that uh, all doors are open. And to be even more concrete, in 2022, I took over from fantastic and the only one, Ramses Vessel, the function of the editor-in-chief of the SEO Reflections. In the newly recomposed editorial board of the SEO Reflections, you will find fantastic scholars from various states and regions and with different research profile. Now in the editorial board, you have Lukas Liksinski from the University of Sydney in Australia, Alina Miron from University of Angers in France, um, Anne Seb from Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies in Switzerland, and Peter Tobias Stoll from the University of Göttingen in Germany, and me. We would like to encourage all ASIL members to submit their reflections, by which we mean short papers, maximum 4,000 words, that argue one particular point that may trigger further debate in the scientific community. community. As your reflections are highly visible articles, and you can be pretty sure that your reflection will be read and you join exclusive but inclusive club of intriguing scholars. Also, if you organize conference, symposium, and you would like to publish series of articles after this kind of scientific events, we would be happy to consider your proposition of series of submissions. So please do not hesitate to share your reflections with the whole international law world.